Welcome to Psychology of the Daf. We are on Gemara Yoma Daf Lamed Vav. Today we're going to talk about is there such a thing as asking for too much from God? Our Gemara records the machlokas between Rabbi Meir and the Rabbanon regarding the words and order of the Vida confession. Rabbi Meir follows the order of the verse used by Moshe, Avon, Pesha, and Chata'a, which means deliberate sin, rebellious sin, and unintentional sin. The rabbis cannot accept that because logically the confession should go in order of severity. Chet, unintentional, Avon, intentional, and Pesha, rebellious. If so, why indeed did Moshe use a different order? It was to ask God, let the great and even rebellious sins be considered as unintentional sins. The verse quoted by Moshe was in regard to the 13 attributes of God's mercy, the Shloshis Rei Midos. Tosus in Rosh Hashanah Yad Zayin of Aleph enumerates what the 13 attributes are in reference to the words in the verse and notes that Chata'a, that God forgives unintentional sin, is one of the 13. Okay, the Beis Levi in Parshas Kisisa asks a question on Tosus based on Agamara. According to the Chachamim, the word Chet in the verse is not referring to the actual transgression, but rather an appeal to consider the other rebellious or intentional transgressions as unintentional. Since we rule according to the Chachamim, how can we say that Chata'a is one of the 13 attributes? The Beis Levi also raises another question on our Gemara. Why did Moshe just ask for sins to be treated as unintentional? Why did he not go all the way and ask that sins be treated as utterly forgiven? The Beis Levi answers both questions by offering a reinterpretation of how the Chachamim interpreted the verse. Moshe was not asking to consider the other rebellious or intentional transgressions as unintentional. Rather, Moshe was asking that grave rebellious sins be forgiven as easily as unintentional sins. This answer explains how Chata'a can still be referring to unintentional sin, even according to the Chachamim, and be part of the 13 attributes. It also explains that Moshe was asking for the best forgiveness, that the Jews be totally and easily forgiven, as if their rebellion was merely unintentional. Now, I will add two points. It is possible to interpret the Gemara and the Chachamim, as we originally did, that Moshe was indeed asking Hashem that the great and even rebellious sins be considered as unintentional sins. This itself is one of the unique attributes of mercy. So why can we not uh, learn it that way? And as to why Moshe did not ask for total absolution, that the sins not be counted at all, this is not a question either, in my opinion. We find that Sadiqim know how far they can push and what can be asked for realistically. To ask for rebellion to be wiped clean as if no sin was done was too much. Even Avraham, when asking for the people of stone to be spared, knew to stop at the threshold of ten righteous people. He did not dare ask God to spare Saddam if there was, say, nine righteous people.